Hello my YouTube friends, today's video is sponsored by OWNED, but I'll get to that later. Audio is by far the most important aspect of your live stream. You absolutely have to get it right, but most people overlook it. What did you say? Listen up old man, the OBS sound setup can be one of the most difficult parts of getting OBS right. You have to set up who hears what, the volume levels of each of those inputs, and how you listen to the audio that you need to hear during the stream and so much more. So how do you set it all up and manage it properly? I'm gonna show you all that today and get you set up perfectly. So you know what? Let's get to it! Likes and comments are super easy things that you can do to help push this video to a wider audience. So take a second down below and let me know how I'm doing. And while you're there, subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It's totally free and it really does help me to continue to make content that helps you. So thanks. Let's start with a fresh new profile and I'll walk you through all the settings first. Let's quickly go over the optimal settings. So I'm gonna just create a new profile here and we'll just call this audio settings and click okay. So now our settings are brand new, we can set them up. And there's nothing in general that you need to do that has anything to do with sound. Stream obviously doesn't, there's nothing in output. If we go to audio here, you can set your sample rate if you wanna change it, it's not necessary. You can set it to stereo, whatever type of stereo you want. Just keep in mind, if you only have one microphone, this is kinda of pointless either way. I always leave all the audio devices disabled. I like to set up my own audio. I don't want OBS to set it up, I wanna do it. So the only thing we're really looking at here is advanced. And this is where we're going to set our monitoring device. So I'm gonna click this and I'm gonna select the headphones that I use to monitor my sound during my live stream. This is gonna be sound from guests, sound from games, sound from music if I have any playing. Anything that I wanna hear, well, I'm gonna do it through my headphones. So I'm gonna to wanna to go here in my monitoring device, drop this down and select my headphones. Other than that, we could just apply and there's nothing in video, there's nothing in hotkeys, and there's really nothing in advance that you need to mess around with sound-wise either. Now if we go to output, we can set it to advanced and we can go to audio right here. And here's where you can change the audio bit rate for any of the tracks where you have your audio playing. I generally leave it at the default. I think 160 is fine for an audio bit rate. I've never had anyone complain about the audio on my live streams, so you know. This is all your call. And that is pretty much all of the settings that we need to set up. We can just click apply and okay and we're all good to go. Owned is a website that offers anything a Twitch streamer could possibly want. On Owned.tv, there are thousands of overlay packs with alerts and stingers built in, as well as emotes and badges, and like I said, just about everything you could want. But what really excites me is the Own Pro site. On Own Pro, you download a plugin for OBS, and in OBS, you can browse and select from thousands of overlay packs that download and are set up completely right out of the gate in OBS. You can add a alerts and labels and modify the text and even create custom layouts in just a few minutes. And they all have custom stingers that are set up with the profile so you don't have to do anything. You just download them and they're ready to go. In just a few minutes, you're gonna have a professional stream that looks like you spent a million bucks. The best part is for just a few bucks a month, and I mean less than that crappy Netflix subscription you never use anyways, you're gonna have access to every single one so you could change it up on every stream in just a few minutes if you really wanted to. So take a second and check out Own TV and Own Pro. Down below there are links in the description for each one. If you have the means to support the sponsors that support this channel, it goes a long way towards helping me continue to make content that helps you. So thanks! Now let's customize the audio for different types of scenes. I'm going to show you one way without any plugins and the other way with a really cool helpful plugin that you can use for free on Windows. So the first thing we want to do is add a camera. We're going to click the plus and we're going to just add a video capture device and our camera comes up. We want to go down here to the bottom and select use custom audio device. And then we want to go ahead and use this drop down to select the custom audio device, which would be our microphone. And we want to make sure that microphone is actually turned on. And there we go. So now we have audio for our microphone. 
we're all set. Step one down. Now we'll go to another scene. We're going to click the plus and we're going to add some guest audio. So the first thing I'm going to do is add the guest screen. I'm going to go up here to display capture and we'll just name this guest. We'll drop down the display that our guests are on and we'll expand it out. And what I'm going to do is use the alt key just to crop up our guest window. And I don't have any guests. It's just me and you're not going to be able to hear your own microphone for obvious reasons. So I'm just going to go ahead and add the audio. We'll click the plus and we're gonna to go to audio output capture and we'll call this desktop all and you'll see why I call it desktop all in a moment. We'll drop this down and you just wanna select where you would be listening to your guest audio from. In our case, it's the device we set as the monitoring device, which is our headphones. So we wanna drop this down and select our headphones and click OK. So now what I'm going to do is, since I'm not going to have any audio in my guest screen at the moment, I'm going to go ahead and just add a video in here and click open. And when I play that video, you can see we're not getting any audio. Why is that? Well, I have to go down and make sure that that's where my audio is playing. So I go down here and I set it from speakers, which is where I'm listening to it now, to our monitoring device, which is the headphones. And now when we play it, we can see that it's coming through our headphones. So now I'm gonna flip back over into my main scene. And I wanna show you why I put that at desktop all. So in our main scene here, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna add another audio output capture but I'm not going to use the same one. I'm going to create another one, and this is called Desktop Me. And I'm going to select the exact same output, the headphones, and then I'm gonna go over to Audio Mixer and I'm gonna click the little gear. And I'm gonna to go to Audio Me, and I'm gonna drop down the audio monitoring. And in this case, I wanna be able to hear the guests when it's just me on the screen, but I don't want the audience to be able to hear it. So I'm going to drop this down and select Monitor Only and Mute Output and click close. And that means I'm monitoring the guest audio so I can hear it, but it's not going out to the live stream. Now if I flip back over into our guest scene, I'm gonna go ahead and select that gear button again, and I'm going to turn this to monitor and output. So I want the desktop all to go out to the stream, whereas I want the desktop me to only be something I can hear. This way, even when I'm not on a guest scene, I can still hear what my guests are saying if they have a question or comment about the stream. This is also how I use a remote producer to tell me what's going on in my chat and things like that, because I can hear them even when they're not on screen. I'm gonna go ahead and create one more scene. We're gonna call this scene game, and then I'm gonna go to a game capture and click OK and it's just going to capture any full screen. So there we go, we've started Lost Ark. Now we just need to add audio. And for this, we're just going to go to Audio Output Capture, and we can add an existing, and we can add our desktop all. That means we're grabbing the desktop audio that is meant for the stream. And there we go, now we can see that audio playing. Now if I have guests, obviously people are going to hear them as well as the audio. Desktop audio is just that, it captures everything that's coming out of the sound that your desktop produces. Let me show you a more advanced way to do this where we can separate those things. First, we need to install a quick plugin. So in this page, we're just gonna go over here to the right, go to download, and it's gonna bring us here. And we just wanna select this install one right here. It's the top one. We just click on it and download it. Then we go to our downloads page and double click on it. And then we just wanna click next through here and install. When you get to this page here, you just wanna verify that it is the correct OBS directory. In my case, I'm installing it on the E drive and it's OBS-Studio. In your case, it's probably gonna be C program files OBS-Studio. Once you verify that it's the proper location, just click next and then next and then install. And for me, it's gonna tell me that I'm running OBS and it has to shut it down, which is what I'm using to record this video. So just click next through this and finish when you're done and everything will be installed and ready to use. Okay, so now that that's installed, we emptied out all of our scenes, we're gonna start over. And of course, first we'll just add our camera and we'll drop it down and we're gonna select our custom audio again. And there we go. So now we have a camera audio in there. We'll go to our guest scene and we'll use a display capture to capture our guests. We'll drop it down and we'll bring it up. And you guys already know how to crop this. I'm not gonna do it again. We'll just add our guest audio. 
but instead of selecting audio output capture, this time we're going to select our application audio output capture. And we'll just call this guest audio all because this is going to go to the stream and I wanna monitor it and we'll click okay. We can drop this down and select the executable for the audio that we wanna hear. And then all we need to do is add that executable. Then we click okay. And so now we are just capturing the audio from that window. I'm gonna go over here and click the gear and I'm gonna set it up so it monitors properly. And since this is monitoring for all, I'm gonna go ahead and set it up to monitor and output. Now I'm gonna go into my game scene. We're gonna add our game capture once again. And then I'm gonna click the plus and we're gonna add the audio. In this case, I'm gonna to go to the application audio output capture and I'll just call this game all. And we'll drop this down and we'll select our game and click add executable. And now we see our game audio. I'm gonna go over to the right here and click on our gear again. We're gonna go into advanced audio properties. And I wanna make sure that I can hear the game audio. So we're gonna monitor and output it and click close. So maybe Maybe we want our guests on here as well. I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna go to application audio output capture and we're gonna add our existing and we're going to add our guest audio all. So now we have both our guest audio and our game audio in there. And if we switch back to our main scene, if we still wanna be able to hear our guest audio, let's set that up as well. So I'm just gonna click audio output capture. I'm gonna call it guest me. I'm gonna drop this down and select the correct browser and click add executable and then okay. Then I have to go into my audio mixer, select the gear and go to advanced audio properties. And I'm gonna drop this down and select monitor only, mute output. And that means I'm listening to my guests on this scene, but it's not going out to the stream. And of course, when I play the video in our guest screen, we can see that that audio is working. You can see that when I talk on the microphone, you cannot hear it. So if we wanted to make sure that my audio was on this scene, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in, we're gonna select our audio input capture and click okay. And we're gonna select our microphone and then click okay. So now our microphone is on the guest scene as well. So now we have the guest audio and my audio all in this scene. So now you can understand how advanced audio properties work and how you can set up your audio to pretty much hear and do anything that you want on your live stream. So if you wanted to listen to music or something like that, you can actually separate it out and you can set it to whether the audience is going to hear the music or maybe just you. It depends how you wanna set it up and you can have it different in every scene if you want. If you're having audio issues, you should check out this video on the five things you need to check first. Big thanks to the channel sponsors. There are links below in the description so you can check them out. Supporting the sponsors helps me continue to make content that helps you. I couldn't possibly do this without them or you, so thanks. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks that can help make you a better live streamer or YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one.